All right, this video will go over the basics for using Screencastify to create videos um, so that you can share them with students. Um, you can create videos of lessons so they can watch them at any time or review them again. Um, you could also record you know, science experiments or anything else you wanna record. So anyway, the icon for Screencastify is this little green, or sorry, red arrowhead here up at the top. So I'm gonna click on that and it'll bring up my menu. Um, here I've got a few choices. I can record just a particular browser tab. I could record my whole desktop or I could record my webcam. Um, if I use the webcam, that's where I could do like a science experiment or if I wanna show them something else, um, you know, using the webcam. I also wanna make sure my microphone is on so they can hear me talking. Um, and if you want, you can embed a webcam where it'll put like a little webcam at the bottom corner of the screen so that people can see you when you're talking. Um, I'm of the opinion no one needs to see me when I'm talking, so I'm going to leave that off. When you're ready, you're just going to hit record. And um, this computer has two monitors hooked up, so I need to choose which one I want to record. Hit start, and it's going to count me down. Um, when the countdown's done, now it's recording. Um, when I want it to stop, I would just hit stop sharing here, the blue button down here. Um, now I would be free to go into my presentation, um, and I can go through everything. Um, you know, however you would do it. So when you're done, you're gonna hit stop sharing. Um, and it's gonna bring you to a page that looks like this. Um, I can click up here to unmute this. I don't wanna unmute it cause I'm talking to you right now. But um, it'll allow you to kind of watch your video, see if you like it. Um, if you don't like it and you just wanna redo it, you can delete it right here with the trash can. Um, you could also, if you wanted, decided that you wanted to edit it a little bit, you could click open in editor and it does have its own editor where you can, you know, cut parts of it out or, or whatever you want to do with it. Um, now, when it does this, it automatically saves it in your Google Drive. So um, if I was to go to my Google Drive, There will, there's a folder called Screencastify that it automatically creates. And if I go in there, it'll have all of the things that, all the movies that I've made. Um, this one here without a picture is the one I just did that you saw. Um, and it just takes a minute to load up the picture um, and everything with it. So from there, you can move it around to any other files or whatever you want to do with it. Um, the file format is a web movie. Um, so that's what it kind of creates here. Now, sometimes you might want like an MP4 file, um, just because if you're gonna do some other video editing type stuff, um, an MP4 can be easier to use. So under download, there's a couple other options. Um, I could download just the movie file to my, the web movie to my computer. Um, I could export it as an MP4, where it'll convert it to MP4 and then I can download it. You could also export the audio or just export it as a GIF. Um, it also gives you some options of sharing it to a Google Classroom. So you can share straight from here to your Google Classroom, or you could publish to YouTube if you had like a YouTube channel or something. Um, by saving it to your Google Drive, it also makes it super easy if you ever wanted to embed it in like a Google site. Um, you could put your video right on a Google site, or um, you could put it, well, you can use right here to put it in your Google Classroom. Makes it really easy for kids to find it. Um, so those are just some basics right there and I hope that helped.